just a few hours, I get to be your wife. I promise I am excited to take your last name, even though I joke about it a lot. I loved you before you ever said it out loud. A year and a half ago in your parents' basement, you turned to me and said, I need to tell you something. Today, I'm the one who needs to tell you something. From the moment I met you at our very first date in Laguna Beach, your smile captivated me and you stole my heart. I'm proud of you for your independence, your honesty, how brilliant you are. I admire your selflessness for sacrificing so much to serve our country. I love how you are organized, incredibly disciplined, and how you never fail to have a positive outlook. Today, I marry the man of my dreams and begin the first day of the rest of my life. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, and that's because I am. Love, your wife, your Tinderella, Aubrey. Dear Aubrey, who would have guessed that after our first date a little over two years ago, we would be getting ready to stand up in front of our friends and family to exchange our handwritten wedding vows. I don't think I could have predicted that, but I'm so happy that day is finally today. You are my person because you make my life better in every conceivable way. I will try every day to live up to that for you as well because you only deserve the best. Our lives together are destined to be a picture. I can't wait to go to sleep next to you, wake up with you, and do little things to make you smile. From here on out, it will always be you and me. Words can't come close to saying how much I love you and how happy you make me. I love you, Aubrey. I can't wait to see you on the bar. to bring a torch to the both of you. To this moment, you bring the fullness of your hearts as you treasure to share one another. You bring dreams that bind you. You bring in that particular personality and spirit, which is uniquely your own, and out of which will grow the reality of your life together. We rejoice with you here as you express this outward symbol of the inward union of your hearts, a union created by friendship, respect, and most importantly, love. In a marriage is having the capacity to forgive and forget, look upon each other's perfection with joy and the frailties with understanding. Forgive yourself and each other for those weaknesses you cannot love. Your love for one another is more important than any of our minor faults or irritations that we all have. It's never being too old to hold hands. And it's remember to say, I love you at least once a day. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you Anna White. Now you get to kiss that girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you now Mr. and Mrs. Stephen James Klingsides. <laughs> Stephen and Aubrey, congratulations. Aubrey, simply gorgeous, Stephen Dashing. You, look, you two look beautiful together. So, um, as many of you know, Steve's a budding young officer in the United States Navy with his fucking Bronco medal. And, you know, when I was in Seattle, Steve was out in Norfolk, Virginia. And then Steve decided to come out to the West Coast. He made it to California. Um, I was fortunate enough about almost two years ago to the day, it was July 4th weekend, a couple years ago. Um, I was fortunate, Carrie and I were driving cross country um, from Seattle to Atlanta, where we are now. And uh, we made a pit stop. And 
29 Palms, California. <laughs> there, there was not much scenery out there, but I was blessed with the opportunity to meet Aubrey for the very first time. She came bearing a full plate of pastries, and I knew, I knew right off the back she was a smart cookie. No, no, no pun intended there. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs>